shall we do? Inviting me. Oh, I'm the first one here? Yep, you've got them all beat. I see. Actually, this may have been a stroke of good luck. There's something that I want to discuss with you. What's the situation? I've been thinking. I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battles. But I need your help to make it happen, Mona-chan. <laughs> oh, me, eh? Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how we finish. Haru? Sometimes the stuff you come up with honestly scares me. Oh, it's absolutely fine if you don't want to. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. Great. Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. All right. Just you wait, leader. I'll show you my best. Oh yeah! I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Ah, you mean the Phantom Thief basic training. There's much we need to teach her. Please do! Oh, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeated my fiancé in there. Will that have any effect on my father? Nope. They did something similar in my palace, but I'm perfectly fine. Uh, is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was terrible. Oh. And the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it. But I don't think you'd like them. Hmm. <sighs> Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future.
<sighs> In any case, if Haru followed that conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. Now then. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do this. We will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay. I place this in my father's study, and the treasure will appear, correct? If he notices the calling card, then yes. Are you afraid of doing this to your own father? To be honest, a little. Try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow? laugh or cry all we want, but we only get one shot at this. Everyone, I'm counting on you.
there's nothing inside. Will it always be? Make sure you close up. Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. Hm. From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Thieves. Quiet down. Answer this question. Oh, 
Nice going! Wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Whoa, the comments are coming in hot. Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Damn it, this isn't a game! The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiancé, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru are right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. I feel like he's hiding something. Something big. True. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure!
go.
unified. Get up! Oh, right. On Thank to the next one! Melody! Two more! Pick that up! Two enemies down! Great 
Okay. All right, next. Joker, a treasure chest. <laughs> 